Thank you for choosing the iSpring Whole House Central Water Filtration System. This video will show you how to install and operate the system properly. Before we begin, please carefully read the user manual and ensure your water pressure is 35 psi or above. The system's maximum pressure limit is 100 psi. If daytime pressure is 80 psi, nighttime pressure may exceed the maximum limit. Use a pressure reduction valve to regulate the inlet water pressure to 80 psi if necessary. Water temperature ranges from 39 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The system is intended for cold water use only. Do not run hot water through the system. Connect the system to the main water supply before the water heater. If you have an electric water heater, please turn off the power during installation to avoid damage. The system requires a drain line for draining wastewater from the system backwash and rinsing. The drain pipe size should be at least half an inch and not exceed 20 feet. Otherwise, a three-quarter inch drain pipe is required. The drain hose must be secured to avoid flooding. This product is designed for residential use only. Contact iSpring customer service to inquire about using in non-residential settings. It is recommended to have a pre-filter installed before the system. A water route bypass is also recommended to allow easier access to replace the pre-filter and troubleshoot the system if any problems arise. Please check all parts were included in the package and have all the required pipe connectors and tools ready. System installation. Different setting requires different connecting setup. Typical push connectors used in the installation are for demonstration only and are not included in the package. Step 1. Set the tank in the desired location and ensure it is leveled and on a firm base. Step 2. Shut off the main water line and open the nearest faucet to release water and pressure in the pipe. Step 3. Measure and cut the main water inlet pipe. Prepare a bucket to catch water from the pipe. Step 4. Connect the 1 inch female NPT connector to the system water inlet. Connect the other end to the main water. Repeat this step on the water outlet. Depending on your pipe type, a convert fitting may be needed for this connection. Step 5. Insert the drain hose into the drain connector and secure it with a stainless steel clamp. Connect the other end of the hose to a drain pipe. Depending on the pipe, a convert fitting may be needed for this connection. Secure the drain hose to prevent flooding. Installation is now complete. System Startup Before turning on the main water supply, please ensure the system bypass valves are in the bypass position. Step 1. Slowly turn on the main water supply. Step 2. Let the water run from the faucet for a few minutes until the pipes are free of any foreign material that enter the pipes during installation. Step 3. Slowly open the system bypass water inlet valve to a 45 degree angle and fully open the water outlet valve. Fully open the water inlet valve after all air is purged from the system. Step 4. Turn off the faucet and let filter media soak for 10 minutes. Step 5. Plug in the power adapter to the system. Next, plug in the power supply to a 120 volt socket. System Regeneration A system regeneration aims to prepare filter materials for daily use. It is recommended to perform this process regularly to maintain water quality. A system regeneration is preset at an 80-minute cycle, including a 20-minute backwash and a 60-minute air draw every three days. The system will return to the normal operation mode after the regeneration is finished. Please note, the system must regenerate once or twice immediately after system startup before use, depending on the source water quality. Press and hold the Menu button for 3 seconds to unlock the controller interface. Press and hold the Set and Regen button for 3 seconds to enter Manual Regeneration mode and choose Immediate Regeneration. The system will start an 80-minute system regeneration process. Once the process is complete, the system will return to normal mode and be ready for use. The digital controller is preset at the factory to begin regeneration at 2 a.m. every three days. If a different schedule is desired, 
please follow these steps to alter the setting. Step 1. Press and hold the Menu button for 3 seconds to unlock the controller interface. Press and hold the Menu for 3 seconds again to enter the setting menu. Step 2. Use the Menu button to enter the setting and browse to Regen Days. Step 3. Use the up or down buttons to adjust the number of days between regenerations. Press the Menu button to confirm the setting. Step 4. Press the Menu buttons and browse to Regen Time. Step 5. Use the up or down buttons to adjust the starting time of regenerations. Press the Menu button to confirm the setting. Step 6. Press the Set and Regen button to exit the menu. The interface will automatically lock after a 3-minute standby period. Congratulations! Your iSpring Whole House Central Water Filtration System is now set up and ready for use. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.